Hi everyone, Aaron here from Space Tech. Uh, just want to quickly demonstrate our IP68 rated RJ45 Cat 6A shielded uh, joiner. So this joiner is a three part joiner. Uh, we have the waterproof boot on one end. We have the shielded joiner in the middle and another shielded joiner for the other end. So. One of the good things about these particular joiners is they've got a split rubber, which means there's uh, no need to assemble these before you put the ends on, on your cables. So first of all, once we've got it in pieces, we simply screw the end off, pop this centre rubber out just by putting your finger inside. And as you can see with these rubbers, they're split. So, so first of all, we slide the uh, end gland screw over the end gland nut and then we pop the split rubber over the cable like so and then once you slide this over the plug just very gently work this in if you if you're a little bit forceful you might break these little fins which are what tighten down onto that gland slide it fully back inside as so and then just go one or two screw turns with that end piece so it still slides freely at this stage. You can still twist it without twisting the cable. Next, just clip the connector on, as so, until you go clip. Now, screw that on nice and tight. And once that's tight, you can then tighten up the backing nut that tightens down that gland. And as you can see, that gland is now tight against the cable and there's no way water can get into that joint. So with the other end, it's just re repeating the same process. Now, if you're using one of our other products uh, like our recessed data, data socket uh, or um, bulkhead data socket, uh, the principles are the same. These are all interchangeable with the two products. Uh, same with our flat mount um, Starlink conversion uses the same uh, family of plugs so all of these are interchangeable so now with the other end I'll just repeat that process once more take the backing nut off pop the split rubber out backing nut over split rubber on work that back in nice and gentle making sure those fins don't get bent. Make sure it's all the way back inside. One or two courtesy turns, make sure you can still spin it. Plug it in until it goes clip. Tighten that up, tighten up the backing nut. And there you have it. That can be used for uh, repairing a cable. Uh, if you want to, uh, during an install, cut a cable uh, so you don't have to run the plugs through, um, you can re-terminate like this. Uh, if you want to shorten the cable, same thing. Uh, or if you're using uh, your caravan or RV and you want to um, shorten your cable, you can use two of these uh, with the piece in between being an extension cable. So you only need to use uh, the minimum length uh, for your day-to-day -day usage of your dish. Thanks guys for watching. See you next time.